Hello, ladies. How are you? Hi, everyone. Let's Good see what our leg you. is. Patty, Joanne, Jenny, Kathy. Eileen. I said Eileen. Suzanne. Tracy. And we're still waiting. Ooh, no way. Wanda. Suzanne, I think that's it. So, Ron, um, oh, hi, Michelle. I think that's it so far, are we driving? Hi, <laughs> Glennis. Hi, Glennis. Hi, Libby. Hi, Jean. Lorette. Beth. <laughs> 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 we might as well wait a few minutes till everybody. Yeah. Hi, Louise and Cindy. <laughs> Diane. Hi, Louise. And Diane. Michelle will be home soon. <laughs> She's driving. I have to say the envelopes that I made for my boss, she, the purple envelope, she loved them. And she absolutely loved the feel of the clear gesso. I was so excited. I think I just <laughs> just yelled. <laughs> she loved that gritty feeling. Hey, hey Debbie. Jay. And Jackie. While we're waiting for some more, all you guys need tonight is we're going to do, Maggie's going to do her decorating at Maggie's Pace. I'm going to probably go fast and furious on my side <laughs> to show you a bunch of you know the usual whole bunch of different <laughs> a whole bunch of different booklets and then we'll go back to decorate them i'm just going to show you i got a bunch and i'll switch my camera over a whole bunch hi, of hi, hi gita hi gita a whole bunch of um scrap paper and music paper and just everything that i make book booklets out of so that's what we're going to do jackie jean And I'm going to switch my camera because you guys don't need to see my face anymore. Let's yeah, see. it's going to be a little low key tonight yeah. for me anyways. Hi, Lisa. Yeah, I do feel better. Hi, Kim. Um, one. Hi, Kim. Nets. Thank you, Lorette. I'm still in my work clothes. I said between working full time and crafting and house cleaning, I told my husband I'm gonna have to give up house cleaning. <laughs> That's your thing your battery low. for tonight. <laughs> my battery's running low. <laughs> hey Patty. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> when I was going up the list, I think I forgot to say Patty because I saw her in blue and I just kept going. <laughs> Oh, uh, she ignore you, Patty. <laughs> Sorry, Patty. Did I? Now I can't even remember. That's okay, man. I'll bet someone breaks Maggie before the night's over. Yeah, well, nobody be better break Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> no. All righty. So I don't know how long we're going to be on tonight. So we're going to start. So like yeah. I said, Maggie's. we're just going to do booklets. Now, booklets to me. And I did look it up before I came on. Is just a thin booklet with a few pages and a paper cover. So what we have, um, all right, this is just a piece of manila folder. It's just a scrap piece. So I just folded it, put some papers in it. And we're just gonna, I think, yeah, three pieces. And I'm not even gonna poke a hole. I'm gonna do the three hole punch with my needle. And this is kind of the long, um, kind of the long receipt type booklet. But I love putting um, booklets in my Alta Five folders and my journals as we all do or in bags and then sometimes you can either um stapler i think maggie did you say you stapled some i'm going to yeah 
Yeah, because I um, I do have my sewing hey, machine. Debbie. I'm trying to stay at my desk. <laughs> Hi, Sandra and Debbie D. Hi, Sandra. Okay, so that's one. And we're going to go back and we'll embellish these. But this is just out of a... And I, it's crooked. And I like that. I'm not worried about it. Because that, that's what stresses me out. If I have to worry about every little thing. So, you know, we got enough stress. So, ladies, just relax. So, that's one type. Now, another one I like to do is... Now, I just printed these off from Artie Mays. So, I will take... Two pieces of paper. Meg, I'm just going to go full screen on this one. Go ahead. Do your thing, Lori. No. <laughs> Poor <laughs> Maggie. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this two pieces of paper, and I'm just going to fold it in half. And I'm going to put it behind just the bottom two. And literally, I'm just going to hold it. And I'm just going to cut around them. And these will go into my Sage and Emily books. Let me cut that. So. Yeah, Laura, Laurette says you keep freezing up, Lori. Yeah, we Again. just kind of, we just go with it. it yeah. It doesn't last long. It's the internet. Okay, so we have that. And then we'll have another one. I'm just going to cut around it. And these you can even, it's the cover of a booklet, but you can sew your buttons on it if you wanted to. These over here. And then actually I'm going to zip this on the uh, sew machine. With us tonight, and then I have just a little button, a little button booklet, and you have a couple pages. And if I didn't take my stapler off the desk, I could have stapled it. I could, you know, do whatever. Whatever you want with them, but that is any shape, any shape that you may have. Watching from Texas. Hi, Ann. Hi, Ann. Let's put on Maggie's table. So those are another two. So take any shape that you like. Put a couple pieces of paper under it. Hello, Gigi. And that's that one. Those two. Hi, Gigi. And then, let's see in the scrap pile. I think you guys seen me do this one before. It's just your uh, guest checks. You just, sometimes I take this off. Is this After I coffee dye this part, it usually falls off anyway. Hi, Mitzi. Hi, Mitzi. How are you? We're just getting some scrap paper and making a variety of booklets. So this was scrap piece. I'm just going to... I don't care if it's bigger or smaller. I'm just going to rip it. Because that's what gives it the charm. And this is a... Another piece of just scrap. And we're going to stick that in there. But I do like 
I usually put three to five pieces, or yeah, three to five pieces in here. Like this little one, I only put three in there because generally I'll tuck it into a um, a pocket, and you're not going to have a whole lot of room. And then the, the one piece, I will make it a little longer. I know well. I know well. Gigi got you. What kit am I using? Um, I'm not really <laughs> using any one kit. The these little pages here, they say um, notes. This is, I think, Tracy's Tracy Fox. I'm pretty sure it's one of her older kits, and I just um, printed it out. I'll show you. I printed them out smaller. There's a few different sizes. This says list to do. I used the one that said notes. Let me see if I have them bigger. This digi was Artie Mays, um, Gigi. I'm using a bunch of Shabby Dabby Doo Dah, her lavender. And yeah, I'm kind of using a bunch of different ones. The pictures yeah. these here that I'm using for the covers, I think, are my pitch prints. Pretty sure. They look like they look like my porch prints, but I'm not a hundred percent positive. And then here's some more Tracy. I'm gonna have to put some note paper inside these. These are um note cards, but you can make them into booklets. It's just easy tonight. I can't, I'm not gonna strain my brain <laughs> tonight. And also, I, I so I added a bunch of these. But then in between, I added some um, coffee dyed paper. I don't, the color's not probably, my lighting is pretty bad, but it's coffee dyed paper in between. I took, we're taking it easy on Maggie tonight. Yeah. We're not picking Hi, on now. <laughs> Hi, Betty. So this one is just paper. I'm just ripping in different places pieces. This is one of my favorites. And of course, I don't like straight edges. And, and these I like to, well, I'm going to go embellish them all, but we'll just sew this up right now. Gigi, let's tell you that I'm in. Oh, Gigi made a Lori fan. Woo! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see it. Okay, so in 10 minutes, I made one, two, three, four, five booklets. <laughs> of course you did. But they're not decorated, but we got... And this really makes a... a it's getting down my whole stack of pile, my pile of scraps. And then I can, like I said, I'll decorate these tonight. But you can just set them aside and decorate them. Now these over here, I'm looking at these, and I really can't throw these out because they're skinny. And I like skinny. Um, sometimes the, the little journals I make, I need just a skinny little, um, I don't know, notepad or just a scratch pad. So this is just... Just a cute little, and I'll show you how I'll decorate that. And a cute little thing. Okay, I guess I'm not sewing no more because I just ran out of thread. So, we got that. And then let's see, what's your typical booklet? Um, well, the ones that come like any of them that come in the digital kits, like this is this is Took's kit. 
like this I would make into these are folded she has them lay those it fold, folded journal cards oh I think I have that in my um in my chart I have oh, one to Etsy that. You said took, right? Yep. Yep, her new one. I can't remember the name. I'm drawing a complete blank. I know it was dressmaker. You're welcome, Chuck. I love it. So this I would just fold a piece of paper. Or fold the card. And just a little bit. Hello, Bevy's turkey plans. The dressing. It's hard to keep the to keep uh it's hard to embellish and keep them flat. For me, yeah. you know, try to keep the embellishments flat. That's why I like lately. I just like to do things on the side. So this one, since I don't have any bobbin thread, I will just sew it with my needle. And this one, I only have two pieces of paper in. I tell you, I was going to craft Saturday, but I had so much laundry to do that I wasn't happy. I wasn't having fun. <laughs> right. I haven't crafted since, I don't know, when, when was the last time no. I crafted? I don't know. The first time I actually got to sit down. It feels like it's been a while. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Patty. Okay. So, and that's, you know, the journal cards. Say, if you're doing the shabby thing, that's, I, I hardly ever, you'll ever, ever see a straight look with me, pretty much. I like the look. I just don't do it. <laughs> so, I got one, two, three, four, yeah, three, five, six, like. seven. So, all right, let's take a quick little break on that and how I would embellish some of these. Like this, where's my skinny one? The skinny one, I would take one of, ah, uh, where are they? Um, actually, Shabby Dabby Doo da. Um, actually, a bunch of them here. Oh, actually, this is one of Took's Edwardian women because they're, you know, tall and skinny. <laughs> I'd like to put them on them with a little cheese, usually just cheesecloth, so I can keep it pretty flat. Like Maggie said, they're hard to keep them flat. It is. All right, I need one of those. Now what? So this is a little patty. Um, this was inserted in one of the, um, I call them naked journals that I got to embellish. And I thought I could just do something with this. Make a cover for it. Ow. Oh. Okay, it's that way. I'll make a cover for it. Okay, and then just ink it up a little.
And then this would go in, let's see. Ah. So one of my, say this packet, I would put like this little booklet, maybe a little ribbon, and that would be in that oh, packet. Oh, that's cute. But you can make up a lot of them at a time. Hey, Lucy and Renee. No, Renee, I'm just Hi, making Lucy. a bunch of packets. Hi, Renee. Maggie is decorating and making. Not packets, I'm sorry, booklets. And I'm just decorating some that I'm doing. I'll make some more. Now, these little, these ones that I do the rough, just the paper on, I will get some. What shall I get? Some pink seam binding. Somebody asked me where I got my seam binding. It's uh, zipper stop. Yeah, zipper stop on uh, just the, the um, internet. I think, um, what's the name of the one I usually get? I get it on. Does it start with a W? Probably. I just can't think uh, of the name of it. You mean the Hug Snug or the video? Or yes, the, yeah, that's it. Hug Snug. Yeah. So, no, it didn't start with a W. Well, no, the other place was, all I keep thinking is a wick whack, but it's like, <laughs> know, it right? starts as whack, whack something. I don't know. The t -shirt. Oh, this was its own together. Okay. And this, I would probably just put maybe a little rose. I'll ink up a little bit rose. Thank you, Ann. I'll just put, um, probably like maybe on the last page. Oh gosh, I could not cut straight to save my life. We don't cut straight, Pat, or Maggie, we just rip. Well, you rip. I don't always <laughs> rip. Sometimes I rip. So this is the one I made with a manila folder and just ripped paper. This is just a piece of manila folder. For this one, I will just ink up on the edges. Lorna's not here. That's who's not here yet. She's not. Are you working, Lorna? <laughs> She was lurking last night at That's um, right, Chuck. at Patty's. She said, I've been here the whole time and nobody missed <laughs> me. <laughs> All right, so this this one. I only had maybe a cup of one cup of coffee tonight. What'd you have from dinner, Maggie? I had um, sushi and Japanese fried rice. <laughs> you don't like sushi? No, I don't. I had raspberry pie and a beer. <laughs> the kids, um, the kids got uh, takeout at. We have a Japanese place here in town, and it's really, really good. Normally, I get their hibachi, but um, I thought I'd keep it lighter with just a little sushi and some fried rice, and it was really good. Yeah. I mean, I don't eat Hi, raw. Kelly. Hi, Kelly. I don't eat raw fish or anything. I, I got I, tempura shrimp roll. Well, I thought sushi was all raw. No. You're kidding, really? Yeah, this sushi. Well, it might be. I'm not sure. It might be called sashimi, 
but I think sushi oh. just means rolled up or something like that. But um, ah, it's, I got, it was... it's got cooked Hi, shrimp, Beth. cooked shrimp, um, avocado, rice, of course. It's wrapped in seaweed. And uh, I'm not sure what else is in there. But as long as the shrimp is cooked, that's all I care about. Yeah. And it's really good. Really good. Thank you, Glenna. I'm not really a beer drinker, but I wanted something really, really cold. And the raspberry pie was looking at me, and I really didn't have any for Easter. So I said, yeah, there you go. My husband wasn't coming home for dinner. I said, yep, that's it. I don't think I've ever had raspberry. Oh, I love that. Good, huh? It's got blackberries in it, too. But... Oh, nice. I love black. I love both raspberries and blackberries. I just don't think I've ever had them in a pie. Right, this was a piece of uh, Shabby Dabby Doodah, her Victorian something. Wallpaper, maybe? So I just ripped that up and put that on the longer longer ones and just to depict that i want it long i'll put some kind of <laughs> i know you would have patty she doesn't like sushi either oh <laughs> um hi Lori and maggie i love watching you lies but i never got you live actually except tonight i love doing snippets too i can't oh. even try to pronounce her name Oh, Od Odulcina. 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 Scrap. It's a beautiful name, but I'm afraid I'm mm -hmm. like <laughs> crucifying it. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, word. sushimi is the raw. Yeah, sushimi is raw. Now, my grandson Mason loves. Sushimi. He likes the tuna and the salmon. Mm. Shrimp cocktail is about as raw as I'll get. Oh, yeah. I like shrimp cocktail, too. I don't like it all the time, but every once in a while, it's, it's nice to have. Oh, Patty's going to get a beer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Somebody mentioned it, right? <laughs> Somebody mentioned beer. Well, actually, Hi, it's Sandy. funny because my husband. Hi, Sandy. My husband had kidney stones, and the doctor said, to have a beer a day. Beer drinkers never had kidney stones, so he ran oh, with really? it. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Because of the yeast in it. He also said, eat pancakes, which is weird. <laughs> So yeast prevents them? I guess, or keeps things moving. I don't know. I don't know if anything prevents them, but maybe right. doesn't. Hmm. But yeah. Taco Tuesday here. Avocado. I, you know, I've just had avocado. Oh, I love probably. tacos. I don't I do. really. I love tacos. Really? Yeah. You don't like tacos? Manwich mm, in a taco shell. <laughs> oh my God. I've never heard of that. <laughs> I don't really. I, I've never. I think I've never had an enchilada. I never had. Really? Oh my no. gosh. You don't know what you're I wouldn't missing. even know what it looks like. No. Boy, you're, you're straight up Italian. Yeah, yeah. Some of the seasonings I don't like, and I, I guess I don't try, or maybe I've never had it really fix a good way. All we got is Taco Bell here. It's, it's you know. Oh, no, no. We don't have no. any restaurants like that. Don't go by Taco Bell. <laughs> no, that's what I mean. <laughs> Anything that only costs 99 cents with meat in it, I don't go near. <laughs> I mean, I just had, um, what's that green stuff? Guacamole, like maybe five months ago for the first time. Yeah, see, I, I, I like avocados, but I don't like guacamole. 
Well, it reminds me too much of baby doo doo, and I couldn't eat it. I just don't like. I changed too many diapers at the time, so I just couldn't do it. <laughs> Right in no. that, no Taco Bell. Gigi, no Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Lucy, I'm very Lucy, sheltered. Very sheltered. <laughs> Hi, Ian, welcome. We we are just, our town or our city is just a lot of Italian restaurants and pizza shops. <laughs> But I, I will to say, I think the avocado, avocados, I started because I wanted the shells so I can dye my paper pink. I'm going to get a glass of homemade wine. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. <laughs> Oh, okay, Lucy, that's a long book. Last night, first beer in a year. Who had that? Who said that? Uh, Lucy. She oh. had a Dosaki. Oh. First beer in a year. I don't like beer. Oh, I, I like the just a light beer. No, I don't like beer at all. <laughs> And I've tried them all. I even when we when I was in Ireland, I can't couldn't I couldn't drink mm. a, um, a Guinness. I tried. I really tried. Yeah, I just like regular beer. I don't do all those flavored beers. I don't want blueberry in my beer. I just I can't do all those flavored craft mm -hmm. beers or something. I'm not feeling the creativity here. <laughs> That's all right. You're with us. <laughs> oh my gosh, this, this is about as creative as I'm going to get tonight. <laughs> well, that's all we're doing is simple books. Oh, I know. I know. That's not good. <laughs> we're just chilling right. out. So here's one that, a la Lori, where I tore papers and stuff like that. Little mini, mini thing here. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, but I'd have to sew in, and I don't think I have the energy to do that. <laughs> so maybe what I'll do is I'll make a cover for it, and the and there you go. and sew it in another. After a while, I have a piece of fire holder here somewhere. And this is the button one I t I took, and I just glued the buttons that already had the thread in it. I didn't have to sew them. So they look like I sewed it, but I didn't. Oh, it does look like you sewed it. Mm -hmm. So that's a good little cheat. So I got the long one, and then the button one, and then the long skinny one, yeah, then the scrappy good. one. And then we'll do, well, since I got this out, we'll just see if I got any more buttons. My craft room is so bad. My grandson came yesterday. He said, Grandma, you want me to help you clean your room? <laughs> oh, no, no. It's okay. <laughs> hint, hint. Yeah, yeah, really. That's pretty bad. Okay, let's see. What did Eileen say? I hate everything that has an alcohol taste to it. Uh -huh. Oh, beer and grapefruit juice? No, no. Oh, no. That's just wrong. Who has that, Patty? No, I think Lucy. Oh. Lucy. Oh. I forgot about the chat for a couple of minutes here. I'm going to see if I can scroll up a little. I love grapefruit. Re writers? Readers? Oh, I can't even read. No, I haven't heard of that. Hi, Sandy. I don't know if I said hi to you when you came in. Gross. Guinness Look, is, is a charmer. <laughs> uh, and that's the other button. Oh, Joanne likes a taste of beer, but it gets her drunk really quick. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a one beer girl. Canada, but I can eat a lot of candy. Quebec. Poutine is everywhere. That's something I'd like to try, and I've been to Canada, and I, I've never tried it. Poutine. It sounds really good. Oh, God, Renee. <laughs> What's Renee saying? Don't feel bad. My husband cleaned up my craft room. He couldn't take it anymore. No, my husband would throw too much out, and then I'd have to throw him out, so that wouldn't work. <laughs> Patty said she's not into all the fruity stuff and beer either. Mm -mm. All right, so this is a sewing one. So I'm going to take these patterns. And I just rip. I never had that poutine. Is that what it sounds like? Poutine? Yeah. That don't sound yeah, good either. Basic, it's basically French fries with gravy and um, cheese curds over it. Well, there's different kinds, but I think that's the most popular one is really? brown gravy and cheese oh curds. Oh, my God. I would not, not like that. not sure about the cheese curds because I've never tried them before, but the brown gravy sounds good. Yeah, that, I like cheese. I like everything there. I'd have to try it. How do you say that name? Fernanda. Hello. For Hi, Fernanda. For Fernanda. That's another pretty name. Mm -hmm. We're just making scrappy tags with all your leftovers. So now even this, I'm going to rip a little so I can see. And there we go. I like beef gravy on cottage cheese. Oh, Lucy, you're killing me. <laughs> I don't like cottage yeah. cheese at all. Oh, I love I cottage cheese. And gravy on it. Gravy is what kills me. Oh, you don't like brown gravy? It doesn't like me. It's too, I don't oh. know if it's too buttery or heavy. I don't know. No, I love hey, it. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, Lorette. Yeah, I, I love this picture. My whole family is all aware. Never clean or vacuum my workshop. I say, do not touch or move around my stuff room. There you go. <laughs> Ruth says, so you can Hi, see. did you just read Ruth's? No, I read. No. Oh, okay. I just oh, didn't want to read it Delcina? over again. Oh, Delcina. Oh. Ruth says, Hi, my cleaning lady fights with me every time she comes because of my craft room. I keep telling her that it's really organized. I know where everything <laughs> is. <laughs> I know. They try to change us. <laughs> Cheese curds are like cottage cheese. Mm. Yeah, but I know, but there's different ones though. And I've seen the ones like watching the cooking. And this was a long time ago. Watch, I watched a cooking show where they were showing restaurants in uh, Quebec. And the cheese curds looked a lot different than like what cottage cheese would look like. Our cheese curds around here are big. I mean, the size of a quarter. Aren't yours? I don't know because I never, I don't eat them. I've just when seen them. When they sell like bag of them, they're big. Container. Huh? I said when they sell a bag of cheese curds here, they're big. I mean, maybe like a quarter to a 50 cent piece. Do you use them for anything? We eat them as snacks. I mean, I'll buy, we'll buy them for the kids in the summer or something, road trips. They're just easy to eat. You know, like I said, you could take two to three bites out of them. That's how big they are. They're bigger and you don't get the milky stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And they're very dry and squeaky. 
When you bite into them, you, you, they squeak against your teeth. Ooh. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's our cheese curds here in New York. So booklet, I just put things on the sides. And that was in Took's kit, that was journaling cards, but you can make a booklet out of that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And I like this. This one, I like these. I like these big. My like just an old checkbook. You're counting. <laughs> you know that? Probably because I count with Juliana. <laughs> I have one, two, three. <laughs> oh, I got another one. Yes. And then the guest check one. I would probably just ink it up. Thank you, the rats. <sighs> See this one. Who did I cut up? Oh, the purple. Let's do some purple. If anybody has any suggestions for next Tuesday night, let us know. Because we're so we can forget. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be more creative next week. <laughs> This is Shabby Dabby Juda Purple Green. Oh, that's a pretty one. Yeah, this is really purpley. Where are you? Um, Odelcina. Odelcina. I think she's in Quebec. Oh, really? Okay. And actually, I'm going to cover. Well, I'll let a little of the guest check show because it picks up the color in the flowers perfectly. So we will go with that. Something with appliques. <laughs> oh, next week. Oh, something with appliques. Oh, what could we do with appliques? I usually just use them on like, you know, the, my covers or, you know, a fabric page or something. Did everybody cut your lace up like Maggie showed us last week? Ooh. It was such a good video. Oh, thanks. Hey, Beth, did I say hi to you? How about the small envelope folios? folios. What are small envelope? I have to think. Actually, I'm doing a, a folio right now. Where did I put it? Um, let me get up and get up. I'm right back. <clears throat> you only did one piece, um, Renee. Now this is actually put on my garbage over here. Don't be afraid to cut it up. It's just lace. And if you you know, I only cut a little piece at a time. So if something went wrong, it, you know, it's no big deal. I don't trust yeah, would myself. You really do a small folio. What? What do you laughing yeah. at? 
<laughs> Renee or Renee she want to um she don't trust herself cutting up her lace. She doesn't trust herself. Well, I, I cut up a piece of lace. Renee and I had like a pile of cut up lace because I didn't do it right. So don't feel bad. Meg, I'm going to full screen for a second. Sure. Right, this is a folio, and we could do something like this because um, <clears throat> I used a lot of the booklets. This is um, Pretty Maze Touch of Blue, and it has a lot of blues, but it has also a lot of the browns. So it's all, I got the ruffled paper, the, what is this? masking paper and then in here is a booklet that i made just like with the journaling cards in a pocket over here is like a skinny one but i used a lot of the, the tickets and i know i'm freezing hi linda here's a little pocket Hi, Linda. And then over here is the little journal. That's really. It's kind of like I tape. Like that. This is easy. This is with a, a piece of or a file folder, one of the big ones. And then this is just yeah. stuff from the kit. This was a envelope, but it's just so springy. Yeah, let's make one of those. We can. This is easy. And then some, um, just a corner tuck up here. And then, I think I showed you that one. And then on the back, I did another pocket with another booklet. So it's just kind of an ultra file folder with just a bunch of booklets in it. Thank you, Ann. So we could we could do something like this. Oh yeah, I like that. I love the just, cover too. It's not as intimidating to make as a, a whole journal because you can make a lot of little pieces for this. Okay, Linda asked where I got the um, the purple fl floral trim. Uh, let's see. What did I do with those two pieces? Because I'm not sure. Let me go. She's yet. Let me. I'm not sure which. If she's talking about this one, this one here, or if she's talking about. Oh, All right. So next go. week we'll do that, girls. Yeah, that sounds good. I haven't done any anything with um, the file folders again. Oh, here it is. Or this one here. This one. Oh, those are pretty. Let's see. Let's go back to Eileen says very nice, Lori. Thank you, thank you. Um, Lorette loves it. Gigi does. <laughs> Renee says it looks like fun. So maybe we'll get more to play next week. Yeah. So all these things I'm making this week, we're going to be making for next week's book, or you can make them ahead of time, and then you can follow along with the way we put the packets in and stuff. So that because this is all the stuff that I make ahead of time, and I fill my altar file folders with. Thank you, Joanne. This one I'm just making a. Um, let's see. I'm just ripping the paper. All right, I don't know if Linda's still here, but Linda, if you're still here, I didn't want to interrupt Lori. I had seen your oh. your question, and if it's if it's this flower one, I'm pretty sure I got this um, crafty new shop. And if it's this one, this came. I've had this for a while. This came from uh, Trisha, a little shabby chic. She sent me um, a bunch of stuff a couple of years ago all lavender because she and purple she knew it was my favorite color so she sent me different um 
different trims in that and I've just been slowly using them up. So I hope that answers your question. This is um, Artie Mays, A-R-T-Y-M-A-Z-E, Touch of Blue. Her newest kit came out two days ago, I think. Yeah, and that's, that's every, everything in here is hers, I believe, except for the masking that's paper. Yeah. It's got well, a lot. It's very. Gonna... Sorry. No, go ahead. Lorette's going to pre-make her ephemera for next week. <laughs> Very good. She so wants this, to keep up with you. <laughs> <laughs> so this, I just rip the paper and I will make it into two booklets. I'll make a long one and a short one. And that's, let's see. So, to, and I'll have to sew it after I get my bobbins on there. So we got that one. And instead of making like a real square one, I just, I'll cut it down just a little more. And then I like to take some twine. Well, hello, Miss Lorna. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Lorna. <laughs> Where have you been? Have you, you've been lurking, haven't you? <laughs> we did mention you too. Were your ears burning? Hey, Deborah. <laughs> hey, Deborah. Oh. Let's take one of these. And then this twine. This is the dollar store twine. I think it makes any project look nice. I even mix it up with my shabby chic. Just to, you know, the little. This one I would probably do some seam binding. We'll stick with the pink. And I would run it through my ink. <laughs> Patty, are you still gluing your books or decoupaging your books? Maggie, sometime we'll have to try an art journal. Yeah, I will. I do. I want to. I want to make one of those too. Because ours would be totally different from each other, <laughs> right? But that's a good thing. Yeah. That's a good thing. And so you guys, the ribbon kind of really makes all the, everything come together. To me, they do. I am Lori. She is. <laughs> and then these, let's see. We'll put, so if we're going to do these for next week. Some more. This kit was just so pretty. You ladies that design these kits are just killing me. <laughs> I could never do that. Oh my just, gosh. I couldn't either. That's why I like buying them. <laughs> Lorna's um, um, oh my gosh. My mind just went like blank. Her uh, I'll, I'll think of it. <laughs> Lorna, what's, what's that kit? Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. The, um, something garden. No. Oh, oh my geez. gosh. It's because I put it away. Calligra from wasn't it calligraphy it or? Journal? Was it calligraphy or something? Yeah, the calligrapher's garden. That's it. Okay. Yeah, I'm in the middle of making a journal, but I haven't. Um, I had to put it away for you know for the weekend. We're just making some ephemera. Next week we're going to make an altered bio folder, like a mini one. I swear I've lost some brain cells. I hope they grow back. <laughs> I think we all have Mags. 
Yeah, but I can't afford to lose him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Heidi, I'm glad you painted your kitchen. My, you were watching us or listening to us. <laughs> oh, she's painting her kitchen. God bless her. Maybe I'll be done by next week so I can play with journals. Yes, Lucy, that's it. How do you walk? All I can say, all I look at, I look at it and say, wick, wick. Thank you, Miss Patty. It's W A W A K. Walk. Did you walk. see the um? The T-shirt that Christina. Oh my put God! In the, yeah. Uh, group. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hey, Maggie. Have a W A W A K. What? What did I miss? It's the other place that sells the seam binding. It's oh, W A W A K. Oh. oh. Hey, Debbie. Oh, okay, Deb. Oh, no, no worries. You could just feel better. I know. You don't feel good. You don't feel good. Nope. <laughs> Patty's going for brownie points. <laughs> yeah, yes. I Lauren, I've ordered I ordered from them too. Them. I went back and watched the beginning of Patty's because I didn't see the um, see the beginning of it. I had taken a nap and <laughs> I missed Dee Dee in there. Oh Dee -Dee. yes, I see she. Yeah, I love watching her too. Dee, Dee um, Hi. is it Willingham? I'm gonna get her name wrong and then I'm gonna feel like. Yeah, I think it's where I we remember her name. I watch her all the time. I don't usually get I don't get in her chats, but I I watch her. Boy, Eileen, I never even knew what scene binding was until the journaling world introduced me to it. <laughs> yeah, me either. Never even knew what it was. I didn't know what half the stuff was. <laughs> I never used it. I may have heard of it, but I never used it before. That's for sure. Yeah. I never thought I'd be buying it. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I know. I bought one of those um, snug hugs or hug snugs or whatever it is. Hug, hug snugs. Um, and what is it? Like 100 yards of it? And I'm almost yeah. through one, one whole piece of it. Hi, Elizabeth. She likes making little books. This I bought, Meg. I got four of these. The oh, hundred yard different ones. Colors? Different Pink, colors? white, and uh, yeah, uh, beigey. Are they the are last hundred yards? Yep. Yeah. Yep. These are the. I want to say nine sixteenths. I don't even say it. I'll probably get, get like four Amazon? months out of them. Huh? Did you find them on Amazon? No, I go to the zipper shop or zipper stop. Or I'll oh. do the, the W one. Yeah, I like the crinkled one too, Joanne. I like the crinkle too. Somebody had sent me some um, crinkled that they had um, they had dyed and but they dyed it like all different colors, the oh. pastel colors, really pretty muted colors. I used it. I just used the last of it to um, to close up a journal not too long ago. But man, was it pretty! Yeah, they are pretty. I usually just take mine and dip it in coffee or do the um, ink on it. Hello. Okay. I lost her name. Where'd she go? Hi, Henda. Henda. 
How are Please you? Say, that's how you pronounce our name. I was waiting for you to go first. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not always right, though. I mean, I just yeah, try to, lot worse. <laughs> how they, you know, I sound them out, like, but it's not always correct, so... <laughs> Does anybody make a necklace or anything with the lenses that you got from Patty? I made my first one and it came out so pretty. Yeah, I liked what you put it on too, that necklace you put it on. Oh, um, choker, yeah. Like a choker? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Now these would be just a, like a set of two books, and I'll just kind of just uh, tie them together. We'll just tie them together with the... Uh, I usually take my twine. It's usually three-ply, and I just pull it apart. How you holding up, May? I'm okay. I'm just not real, you know, not real creative tonight, but it's okay. <laughs> it feels good to sit here and be doing something, though, you know? I yeah. feel like all we've done for, you know, almost three days is just sleep and, like, you know, lay on the couch. I had to get up. I couldn't even, I just couldn't stay in bed any longer. Yeah. Sometimes it makes you feel worse. Yeah. So I just made myself get up, get up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This doesn't want to pull apart. I'm drinking liquid Maggie. I know. I, I have water here. Oh my gosh. I drank so much water. I could float away. Lorette, I get my images from the different Etsy shops. I got a bunch of Im Lorna has a bunch of images. Hi, Anna. Lorna, and I love um, uh, Mrs. Cog's Crafts. She's on Etsy. She has beautiful images too. But I've been mainly, I think these are Lorna's. Pretty sure. Um, I'm gonna hurt her kids. Oh, let's see. Let's make let's make another shape one. Let's take this one. I'm not sure about that. I'm just gonna leave that here for a minute. <clears throat> I mean, you guys seen these before. Maggie, you're only supposed to say Lorna. <laughs> okay. I'm doing the same thing. I'm putting the well, tag over Lorna, like that. You, you, you aren't the only shop on Etsy, and I did say shops on Etsy. <laughs> Hi, Esme. Are you yeah, my, yes, my I had my second shot on Saturday, Joanne, and I had all the symptoms, but I feel much better today. They're all gone except for the rash on my arm that's like itching me like crazy, and I'm trying to ignore it. I still have a slow COVID brain after two weeks. Oh, good to know. Oh, Esme, what did you buy? Did she say she bought something? We got a, a piece, piece of furniture. Of oh, nice. Well, you're the only one that matters, Lorna, right? <laughs> the one made. Did you post pics yet, Esme? Got my second shot last week. I did well. 
Oh, well, that's good, Annette. Yeah, it depends on um, who did the vaccine. I had Moderna. My brother had um, Pfizer, and he didn't have any problems at all. Mike almost killed her <laughs> for buying the pizza. For, he's still mad at me. <laughs> oh, he'll get over it. Oh, it big. He'll get over it. My Let's see. And this one. Just for a different kind of look. I know Lorna. She's so insecure. Michelle, I had Pfizer and the second one almost did me in. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, they, well, normally, they say normally the Pfizer shots have, um, don't have as many side effects as Moderna. But I think it just depends on the person. He's very mad. He is not talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, Esme, but I didn't know there were Irish Vikings. I thought <laughs> Vikings were Danish and you know Norwegian. I didn't know they had Irish Vikings, and I'm Irish. <laughs> And I'm just sewing. I'm just sewing because I'm relaxing. Yeah, it just kind of gives it a different look. Being like a little mindless here, I think. I don't like that. He looks like a very well. He looks like a very mad Viking. <laughs> <laughs> hey Becky. Hey Becky. Yeah, I bet he can't. Who could stay mad at Esme? I mean, I know. <laughs> right? I'm with you, Renee. I'm waiting. Well, I before I read the rest of it, I was going to say, you know, not to be afraid, Renee, because it's better than, you know, having the actual... Um, virus, but she's had it. But they still say you should get vaccinated, though. Yeah. If I could only give him some lace to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what he's missing. Oh, Glennis is giving us a Oh, wait a minute, Glennis. I got to go back up and read what you first wrote. She's probably giving me a lesson in um, Irish Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I don't see. I'm going to type something in here. Let's see. I don't see Glennis's. I don't see that she wrote anything else. Especially the West Coast of Ireland. I don't know what you wrote before that, Glennis. I can't see it. So are you telling me there were Irish Vikings? No. Let's see. Had my first shot yesterday. No symptoms. Yeah, I'm not sure, Renee. You should. Uh, you probably have to um, check with your doctor, but I think it is possible to get it more than once. Esme, what I just typed in, I can't even say his name. He's a singer on 
um, YouTube. Oh my God. Oh, Lorne he's got gone. the long hair. I don't know if it's Norwegian or what, but oh my goodness. <laughs> he sings every day. He comes out with it. Well, not a new song. He redoes the old songs and it's so awesome. So this is another booklet with a tag and just some paper behind it. And I just sewed on it. Just messy sewing. Oh, I like I the tag. Put, yeah, you can just put something here if you want. Some lace or something. But I'm not yet until I... You know, sometimes if I want to put it in the pocket this way, I'll have the lace on this side or this way. or So I kind of wait for that. Open sores. Oh, my God. Debbie got very sick. Yeah. Wow. For right now, in ICU with COVID pneumonia, her oxygen levels. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah, it just depends on the person. But I think it was Glynis that said she had her first shot. And, um, you know, I didn't have any effects from my first shot either. Okay, Lorna corrected me. There were uh, there were Vikings that probably invaded parts of Ireland. So there <laughs> are Irish Vikings out there. So my bad. <laughs> so as may you call Mike a Viking anytime you want. <laughs> he this is just going to be. One, that's for sure. Yeah, this is going to be. No, this is just going to be um, kind of like a matchbook, a long matchbook. And the only reason I'm doing it this way is because that's a science paper I had. So I'm just going to fold it the matchbook type booklet. I think I have to cut this down a little. Yeah, I was looking at my scraps to find um, papers that would fit some of the things I thought would make a good booklet, you know? Yeah. That's a good way of using up the scraps. But it's just it. If you don't, you know, look at them too hard. I'll put some music paper in there for fun. One. <laughs> Too big, too big. Back up, back up. And this side would probably put like five pieces in there. Thanks, Debbie. Okay, Lorna. <laughs> they became Irish. See, I don't even get into the history. I love always the history, history, especially the older history. Well, anything mm -hmm. I, like mm -hmm. Irish and Scottish in that doesn't mean mm -hmm. I retain the information, though. This is my problem. I don't retain it. <laughs> you want to watch all six seasons of Vikings? <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> No wonder yeah, you knew I. that they that they were in Ireland. I started watching I that. Watch I don't know what happened, why I stopped. Most history is old, yeah. <laughs> What's that? Uh, Deborah said, most history is old, ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. In this, I'm just going to sew, maybe. Michelle Rowe, did you have a nice birthday yesterday? This is card stack, so it's I need one of Beth's thimbles. Mm. 
Very loose on history. Oh, the Vikings was very loose on history. <clears throat> Did anybody watch the handmade handmade tales? No, I didn't want I remember seeing um like a clip for it and then I forgot all about it. Did you watch it? Was it good? Oh yeah, it was good. It was a little not scary, scary, but just thinking like that stuff like that could happen. Well, especially if this past year, I guess so. <laughs> You know, just, it was just weird. Yeah, it, it was good, though. I think it was five seasons, maybe four. Oh, Michelle said, um, nope, thanks, though. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, Betty said, I got a load of paper masks at last hospital visit, invented some ephemera introducing BBMM's Betty Butler's magic masks turn into ruffles upside of the pages I glued or sewed <laughs> the width I needed. Well, that was Very a brilliant cool. idea. <laughs> Oh, yeah, today's Becky's birthday. Well, happy birthday, Becky. Yeah, happy birthday, Becky. Why is your birthday that. going? I got a thing um, on Facebook this morning when I was checking Facebook. Are you sick too, Miss Becky? <clears throat> And I just hand sewn that too. Oh, the knot. And I just glue it just for extra measure. I just can't make up my mind to what I want to use. Yeah. She's stressed. Sorry, Miss Becky. Yeah, her sister is um, back in the hospital. Oh, geez. Yeah, we'll do it. Hopefully all goes well. Let's see. Let's put something. This is kind of pretty. This is that wallpaper. And it's I think it's white. Oh, is that part of the kit? This is, um, Tina sent me this. This is some of her Victorian wallpaper. Isn't that pretty? Oh. Just cream with a really light, I would say light pink in there somewhere. But she doesn't do any measuring. Girl after my own heart. <laughs> yeah, no measuring. Yeah, I don't nope. like to measure either. Cares. <laughs> That's not one of my fun things to do. Uh -uh. I had to measure with a customer today. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you did? Oh. <laughs> the stress. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I like get it, buying the um, already made um, the fabric journal covers or the the soft journal covers, like yeah. Patty's and, um, Susan's, Susan Brown's, because mm -hmm. if I try to measure, I just, it, nothing comes out straight ever. Yeah, the fabric is a little... That's why sometimes I just kind of take the fabric and just sew it like patchwork form. I don't have to worry about it. I 
I'm as missing my bit. Her Viking, her Viking talk <laughs> every week. I don't understand. Well, during her live sales. Oh, oh, okay. Gotcha. Are you doing a live sale this Friday, Esme? Now, when something is not straight, I mean, that's really crooked, crooked. I'll just take like maybe a piece of um, uh, twine or ribbon and cover it up. No problem, and it's fixed. Nothing looks right. Really Oh, she is all vintage. Oh boy, figures I'm oh, working boy. as may. You're killing me. <laughs> I just got Patty's blue um, ledger today. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. It's a gorgeous. Isn't uh, yeah. Hi, Jenny and Laura. Hi, Jenny. We're just Hi, making Laura. a bunch of ephemera and booklets. And next week, we're making like a mini altered file folder for all the stuff to go in. And we're just taking scrap paper and I'll show you in a second here. Maggie's taking it easy, and we're being easy on Maggie tonight. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you can go gross. after me next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No holes barred next week. Go for it. <laughs> All right, so this is a little tag. It just flips in there. Like a matchbook. So we have that one. And let's see. What does it, oh, these two that go with it. So that'd be a little set. So I might put that on one page. So are you done those. making the journal covers for a while? Or are you still um, I made one the other night. Um... I'm just, I'm just having a hard time juggling all my my time with, like I said, with the working and the housework and, you know, just fun crafting. It's getting a little hard. And now I want the, you know, the yard work and stuff. And once the weather changes. And then that's another booklet. And then this was a tag that I just cut paper saying length of that oh. and then these two were just um again i just put these on paper and cut around them so they the same shape as the button holder hi rita hi rita so these are just the button booklets and then a toss skinny one. And this is just literally just scrap paper that I was going to throw out and I saved it. Just something just, you know, to put in the pocket. Those little then, button booklets are so cute. Aren't those cute? And that's, you yeah. know, you just cut around them. They're so, and then this one was made out of just a piece of, um, Altered file or a file folder that I altered, and this was a little scrap, kind of like 
this, I don't throw anything out. So I just turned it into a book. Actually, I just folded it where all these little lines are, the score lines are. So you have yeah. a bigger, and it makes a little cute little book. And this was a little guest check. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten out of scrap paper. Now, did you finish your dressmaker um, journal or are you doing another one? I got one, two or? more. I got two more. Um, let's see. These are a sneak peek at the covers. This is one. Oh, that's yeah, really beautiful. Look at that. Put it Lily just on you. I got Lily and Sage left. Oh, that's so pretty. Thank you. And then where's my other one? So much stuff all over Cindy the place. Cindy wants to know what digital is the large spool? Um, that's Artie that Mays. A digital or a die cut? It was um just Artie Mays, and I'll show you the other one that came with it. And this is the other one. They're so big. One of these are Sage, and one of these are Emily. Oh wow! So pretty much the same. They're mm. gorgeous. Thank you. Look at all that lace. <laughs> Yipper. <laughs> all those will be. Um, the cuts, I think they were just button cards from, the, I know it was from Marty Mays, and they also came with these, the ones that I cut up, and then a really pretty, oh, let's see. Yeah, they're all sitting gorgeous. Yeah, they and Cindy are. Cindy wants to know if um, your journals are sold. Yes, hon. Those are all spoken for. They've been on a waiting list for quite a while. And they've been very patient. <laughs> so right now I have no waiting list. And I'm not going to for just a little while until I can really catch up on everything. Where's those other blue ones going? Oh, Suzanne got your uh, Katie journal. And oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Suzanne. Where the heck did it go? Oh, dear Lord. Oh, well, I'm... Okay, well, you have it just on you. I can put my arms over my... So I can get to my... Oh, um, <laughs> So keep it on you. Okay. I want to get a couple to of other. Let's see. I want to get a couple of links here. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. Not in that pile. Oh, if you guys could see my desk, it's terrible. Ah, here they are. Now, I don't remember. I honestly don't know if these were one set. I thought they were two sets. Look how pretty those are. A button card. Oh, those are really pretty. I printed out two, and then they had these. I, I want to say this was all oh, good one night, Jenny. Good night, Jenny. I put in Patty's channel for anybody that wants to check out the next sale Thursday night. And there was somebody else too I wanted to. We put in Tooks and Lorna's. Lorna's. Was there somebody else? I forget now. Maybe it was just Patty. What I did with these, in case you missed it, is reach for a piece of paper and not fall over. 
I took a piece of paper and just cut it in, cut it in or uh, fold it in half, put it behind one. What's the name of the kit again? It was just button cards for Artie Mays. Artie Mays. Oh, just but oh, so that was those aren't from a kit. No, these are just okay. a separate. But, okay, so you just look for her um, button cards then. Just yeah. cut around the paper. Oh, Cindy found them. Oh, Cindy found them. <laughs> yeah, the those are really pretty. And they're nice size. You can actually print them off on cardboard and use them to organize some of your laces. More or more my little trims I would probably use these for. Put them in a little cigar box. Ooh. I should do that. Oh, you're welcome, Patty. And then that's... Eileen. <laughs> Eileen, I was so proud of myself telling <laughs> Kathy and Colleen I haven't bought a thing all week. As soon as I said that, I got an invoice from Patty. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was from last week, though, Eileen, right? You haven't bought anything this week. And then I just sewed them off and then the night. <laughs> so those are those look are at all the stuff you get done and I oh well I'm not gonna You're complain. on a, you have an excuse this I'm not week. gonna complain about myself. <laughs> I'm coming back to you. <clears throat> I hate my water. Oh yeah, yeah. And there we go back to Miss Neatness. <laughs> so, but yeah, you know, I think that these cards would make really pretty to put in your put your little trim around it's for easy access. I think this is one of Esme's French laces, I believe. Just so you can see them, I probably would do it on stronger cough or uh, cards. Oh, a pretty. See that? I never would use the lace. I know, right? Look how pretty that looks. Yeah, that does. The cream and the blue. It might be my new organizing tool. I can't have one if I don't check my email, right? That's right, Michelle. I know I just got mine too. <laughs> and I forget what I buy. <laughs> oh, I do too. When, when, uh, after Friday night, I completely forget and I have to wait until I get the package to see what I got from, uh, Esme. Oh, I forget. Esme, I forget. Patty. And it's like Christmas. I got my box today from um, Lisa Smith. I remembered what I got there. Oh. But other than that, I'm waiting for one from Christina, and I don't remember what I got from Christina. Yes, Lorette. They, I'm glad you found them. Because <laughs> they are. They would be pretty with anything. Actually, even in a journal with just a little half a yard hanging down. And I know people have done it. It's not like I invented it. Just and whenever I get do, a I've seen box, that before. Oh, it's it's kind of Is it a surprise for you too? <laughs> Did you forget? Oh yeah. Yeah. This week it was. Yeah. Yep, that blue ledger paper is just absolutely gorgeous. But I was thinking the 1727 paper was in yet. this week. Oh, although I, I could have, and I, you know, I put every time I get stuff, I put it away. And then until I, you know, go looking for it, I forget about it. But see what other booklet have I not done? Any suggestions? I think I've covered them all that I do. I think you have too. <laughs> Let's Lorette see. said she's doing a dreams, etc. journal in pinks and blues. 
that would go great in it. Let's see. I think I've done. And Jackie Davis says, okay, got eight ephemera done for next week's event. Good night, ladies. Awesome. <laughs> A waterfall booklet. Ooh. Ooh. Now that's something I haven't tried. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Let's, I'm gonna stick with the folio. <laughs> oh no, no, I thought I asked for other booklets, didn't I do? Oh, oh, oh. Have you ever um, done a waterfall? You must have, right? Is it just all right? Say this is a page. The only thing just, I've done is, hmm. You just kind of space space it out, right? So that you start from the bottom or the top. I would think you'd start from the bottom. Just don't glue anything down because I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Doesn't it make sense? You'd start from the bottom, though, because then you'd, you'd keep going okay. on top. Let's see. We'll try it out, Miss Glennis. And then I'll have to play with that. So I'm just hinging these. I have seen it, but I've never really paid attention to them. Oh, Eileen, start at the top. <laughs> oh, jeez. Thanks, Eileen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what? She's, yeah. Eileen, she's right. Because if you, <laughs> if you don't do it, it's, yeah. Let's mix it up with some color. All right, my pages are not all going to be the same size. We know that right now. It will still be a waterfall, though. So this would be, I would use maybe this in a, all right, I'm going to glue them down because that's good. Yeah, I feel comfortable that Eileen knows what she's talking about more than I do, so go for it. <laughs> Hey, it's only paper. <laughs> Do you make yours with all uh, one color, Glennis, or just coffee paper or variety of papers? I'm just probably leaving maybe that is that an inch, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to leave. Oh my gosh, Michelle. Wait, what? She said she'd have her blue paper if the meal lady wasn't being a, uh, if it doesn't oh. fit in the mailbox, she makes us go to the post office to pick it up. She announced she would do it just to mess with us. Wow. wow. Well, she's not very nice. Crap, then inks the edges. Okay, we'll make a, oh, and I'll rip my, I'm going to rip the pages off, because I don't do, I'm going to rip the pages off. Right, Eileen? She said I would report her every week. Okay, and then we'll ink it up this way. If we get a box or something, they just lay it like, you know, our mailbox is right at the end of the driveway. So it's it's not on the street, but, you know, it's close to it. And they'll just lay the box down against the um, mailbox post. They don't make My us mail 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 mail. Yeah. to get it. Oh, I might have 
quite like this. To be rip and tear more. Oh, Deborah, our our male person does that too. Bends anything just to get it to fit in the mailbox. Oh wow, you guys got some mean male people. <laughs> <laughs> mine is nice. And mine doesn't. Mine doesn't like to to have to get out of her truck and go to the door. So if I if I have something that needs to be signed for. She doesn't even, she doesn't even like come to the door to ring the bell. She sticks a, um, you know, a notice in there. Oh my goodness. Good night, Sandra. Good night. <laughs> Lorna's <laughs> male guy is a complete jerk. <laughs> Yeah, they really don't like getting out of their uh, trucks, their mail trucks. I have a large plastic box that you keep garden tools in at the end of my driveway. The mail person, UPS, FedEx. I'll leave packages in it. Oh, that's a good idea, Kathy. I never thought of that. Hmm. Patty, we're pretty spoiled. Mail, mail lady even brings treats for the dogs. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, I would think you could you could um you could complain to uh like a district office or something. If you complain, I think to your own post office, it probably nothing happens anyways, right? Right. Right. But if you complain to like if I don't know how they have the higher ups, but you should be able to complain to somebody. All right, there's my waterfall. I think I'd have to play with this a little more, Gladys. Good idea. I probably have to, obviously I made it really big. So I knew what I was doing. But I kind of like it. In the ultra fire folder, maybe on the back page, because yeah. it lays flat. Oh, that came out good. Well, it's really big. <laughs> oh, Lorna, don't is... go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> <laughs> then, let's see. I'll just put some. She'll be saying that color. all night now, right? You will. <laughs> what do you mean put a cover on it? And now you put it in everybody else's head. <laughs> How would I put a cover on this? I don't think you do put a cover on it. Glenn has just told me to put a cover on it, and I'll put a cover on it, oh, but I'm not I don't sure. Glenn is going to have you now. <laughs> I don't well, think I've ever seen them with a cover. To make a booklet. The only way I can make a cover would be... Okay, now we're really pushing the envelope here. <laughs> How would I do that? Yeah, just like that and just um, get <laughs> put it on the very top. Oh, you know what I'll do? Okay. Mm -hmm. She's testing me. Are you going to do something different? Yipper. You know, I'm not really doing anything if you want to just put it on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to you read know. chat and watching you. Okay, good. I mean, he said, yes, make a book booklet. Okay, girl.
Use a strip of fabric for a hinge, Lorette says. And Glenna says you put a cover on it, then you only see the waterfall when you open it. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't start that that way. So. What did you do Tuesday night while well, chasing waterfalls and pushing envelopes? <laughs> Keep that. <laughs> or fold down the top edge to make a hinge. All right, I got the hinge. Advice here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, oh, I don't know where to go. There you go, Daddy. She said her house spouse bakes breads and brownies and waits for the postman at least once a week. So he brings stuff to the porch, leaves it on cottage seat behind the gate so scroungers don't see anything. Now there's an idea. What was that? Oh, for the baking bread and brownies and giving it to your post person once a week. Yeah, I don't know if ours are allowed to accept it. I do for my garbage men so they don't throw my 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 cans <laughs> across the yard. <laughs> Really? You give them baked goods? Oh, yeah. My garbage man? Oh, yeah. Because they fling those suckers. <laughs> they, get, they get, you know, upset. <laughs> but you're nice to them. Oh, <laughs> I can just see you running out the door with the <laughs> Oh, I do it in my, I do it in my business, so too. <laughs> Here's some cookies, guys. Oh, God. <laughs> now, my father, my father leaves a whole cooler of ice water, especially in the, oh, in the in summertime, the right? Fall, or in the summer. But you see, yeah, but the guy at the end of the road is a real idiot, and his cans go all over the place. <laughs> they fling those cans. <laughs> yeah, you have to get <laughs> Gotta take care of your garbage people. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course, when I first met my husband, started off as a garbage man, so he was always done the runs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we got a ruffle, girls, and then we're going to get, <laughs> because I really didn't have time to think about this. Oh, my gosh, that is funny. <clears throat> and then we're, we're just, this is all the scrunched up look. That is one fancy waterfall book. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is also 10 inches bit long. I don't think it'll fit anywhere. Right? And then, yeah. And then we'll just do a little. Lucy said her husband Thinking. was a garbage man and a garbage truck driver. They used to get lots of treats. Oh, see? They're well appreciated. What, yeah, that's not a... Oh, have a nice day, Henda. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Thanks for stopping. Okay, and then I 
I think that's it. And then I would put maybe, let's put this young lady on here. Okay, go on. Is this my waterfall cover? Ours too, Lorna. It's just a, well, not for the garbage though. For the, um, what do you call it? The, um, Thank you. <laughs> what do you call the stuff you call, you know, the plastic and recycling? Recycle? Yes, recycling. Yeah, they go they go in bins and the truck driver just it, you know, the truck has this claw thing that just lifts it up and puts it in, but we still have um a truck that, you know I think actually though now it used to be there would be a guy at the end of the truck and he'd throw everything in, you know, the bags of rubbish. But now I think it's the um the guy that drives the truck, he gets out. Yeah, can't think of my words tonight, Michelle. Thanks. <laughs> the, oh, yeah. There, there's my waterfall cover. Oh, I like that. And I would probably put a little pocket in to put this little note card in. Yeah. And I didn't really like my choices of paper. I would probably do one after another, whatever. But I'll use this, keep this as a prototype, photo, whatever that's called. Maybe just put a few more pieces like in between. Oh yeah, I could do that, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, I got room. I got a lot of room. <laughs> They're liking it. Well, that's cute. All right, so that is our stash for the night. Well, thank you, Glennis, for that little challenge. <laughs> Good night, Annette. Good night. All right, ladies, so we will put Maggie's back on. Say goodbye. Yeah, we've been on for two, almost two hours. Yeah, I did this little booklet. I know, I know. I just, <laughs> and hey, you're I recuperating. This, this you're is good. a flip up. <laughs> flip, flip up. <laughs> and then this, which I have to, uh, this will have actually have like a little signature in it. And that's just from a piece of a file folder I had. Yep, that's my contribution in creativity for the night. Good night, everyone. Um, yeah. Just leaving. Everybody. Okay, so what are we doing next week? We're making doing the folios. file folder. Okay. If you have your favorite kit to bring along with you. Okay. Um, this is a... A legal size um, talk about folder, folder. Yeah, folder. file folder, or a piece mm -hmm. of cardstock. You know, if it's what is the legal size, fourteen Thanks, by eight Gigi. or something. So, or whatever size you have, you can make it work. You know, yep. just fold it into threes. You know, yeah, we're just into, into three anyways, right? Pardon. We're just into having fun anyway, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. So how many file folders did you need for that, though, where you have the fold, you know, you folded it that's, in threes? That's it just two? one. That's just one piece. That is just one? Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. There's just one. And then because a lot of the kit I used, I printed on um, cardstock. So I used that for my pockets. Oh, okay. Instead of the file folder packets, so I mean you can bring two, you know, two folders isn't going to hurt if you need, right. it, you know, use them to make um, packets and stuff. So okay, well that should be fun. Yep. So All we'll right, see so you next Tuesday and Maggie's yep, channel on my channel, and I'll put a link in um, Patty's group and anywhere else I can think of. Gita. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you.
That's now you can read the phone <laughs> and still be watching. That's awesome. oh, well, you guys make it and I keep coming back. So we, right? we enjoy it as much as you guys do. So oh my gosh, I have so much. Thank fun. you. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have Lorna. a good night. Hope to see you yeah, just tonight I, on Patty's. Bye. -bye. All right, one, one, two.